Hello, my pretties. It is May 1st. Oh, May. Time for the weather to get warmer, do more outside stuff, cooking, going to the shore. Yeah. And today, I have something that, you know, I did have one. Was it last month? I can't remember. But the Fat Fun Style Box. The last one I had was, uh, you know, an add-on from the spring box. And, you know, I did say I wanted another one, but in two months, and they sent me an email asking me if I wanted one. I said, sure, why not? And they didn't charge me my the styling fee, which was weird. I don't know what that's about, but let's see. All right, so let me open this up. Here is the burrito. Here is my little thing. Since, you know, this was very out of the blue, um, I didn't write them a note, so let's see what their note says. It says, hello, Gladys. That's my last name, but I'm not going to tell you that, even though you already know it. Welcome back to FFF Style. I'm so excited to be styling you, styling your next box. I'm glad you enjoyed some of the styles in the previous box. In this, in this box, I wanted to focus on building your closet. I already have a lot in my closet. And adding on to the pieces you kept from your last box, which was only the jeans. I can't wait for you to try this cute jumpsuit. Oh, a jumpsuit war. I love this for casual looks, especially in the spring and summer. It's super easy to throw on and make it your go-to. You can also totally dress it up for pants. I added our best-selling contour pants. These are super comfy and so flattering for tops. I added the long sleeve that you liked in your last box, but in a size down. Okay, okay. I never get that with Stitch Fix. Like, if I say I like something, but it was too big or too small, they never just send me, you know, the next one in my next box. But that is because they have an exchange. You know, option. I also added this cute camel tea and this amazing crisscross tea. These are awesome tops to just throw on with jeans. Have fun mix and matching everything with your current closet. And let me know what you think as well as if you have any special requests for your next box. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Don't forget that if you keep all the items, you get 25% off. Even if everything doesn't work, you can always give pieces as gifts. Happy styling. Just test whatever your name is. So, let's see what I have. This is the one that I really liked. This is that waffle tee knit top with the asymmetrical hem and the buttons. I really did like this, but it was a little too large on me. So I wonder how well this is gonna fit now that it's a size smaller. And this is $44.
All right, here's the next one. Basic tee with a crisscross on the front. This is called the, I don't know. Made from Jilly, Gilly, I don't know. Uh, cross front everyday top in light blue. And this is $40. You know, I feel like, hey, I have 5,000, you know, knit tops, you know, t-shirt kind of shirts. Why would I want to spend $40 for a t-shirt? I don't know, especially when I can get one really cheap. Because t-shirts aren't, they don't really last. So why spend a lot of money, right? All right. Here's my next shirt. It is from Sanctuary. It is the camo knit top. I love camo. Uh, it does have a little tie here that kind of worries me because what if it's not long enough this is the sanctuary Lou Thai tea and camo this is $48 yeah what if it, this is not long enough you know because I like coverage in that area but I guess we'll see jumpsuit a lot different than the one I just got from Stitch Fix kind of the same length though I don't know how I feel about this this like I'm afraid that this it's gonna be really thin and not make me look good. But then I thought about thought that with the other one. This is from Reset. It is the Valeria jumpsuit. This is sixty-two dollars. are the pants she was talking about. These are from Ashley. These are the Contour Ponte pants. You know, I have a pair of pants like this. They're in burgundy. I wear them whenever I have to go to a meeting. You know, or training at my job. But it's never at my job, it's always at another location, and they were not allowed to wear scrubs, even though that's my uniform. And we're not allowed to wear jeans, so these are a great, you know, option. These are in a large, and these are $48. Oh, now that I'm seeing. The price, I'm really like, I'm really digging it. All right. I will be right back to try on these pieces. Um, let me see. I'm going to start with these pants and the shirts because obviously it's easier. All right. I'll be back. Here's the first outfit. This is the the size, the 
shirt from last month. Yeah, but smaller. I do like it. It helps here. And, you know, I like the asymmetrical. I like the buttons. And, yes, having the smaller size is better. It's still long enough for my arms. And there's that. I'm also wearing the Ponte pants. <clears throat> they look a lot like leggings, don't they? But they're pants. These are a little tight in the calf. Right? But still, I could wear these and be fine. Like, I'm wearing this outfit now. And I'm fine. The butt looks great. And I still have your room in this waist. Great for bloated days. So, yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay. Let me go try on one of the other shirts. Here is the next shirt. This is the cross front. This is really cute. Like, it is short sleeve great for summer and this is not it's kind of like a polyester blend so I don't know how well this would be great in the summer because I can see this just sticking to you or it could have the opposite effect and have like a drying wick kind of you know situation um, the length of the shirt is okay like, I raise up my arms, and it's not, you're not seeing anything. I don't like how boxy it is here, but, you know, with this, it's like, look here, not here. Huh. That's kind of a sticky situation, okay? Your focus should not be here. It should be right here. But really, you can't see my boobs that much. It's, it's kind of neither here nor there. So, what do you think? Let me try on the other shirt, which I'm super excited for. Here is the camo top, which I love camo. I think it makes me look really good in the waist. I wish it was a little bit longer to be honest. Okay. I know I just bought a pair of those crop pants from Stitch Fix. No, I would never wear this shirt with that. That's just too much camo. Okay, camo on camo. And I have a jacket. That's too much. This is what it looks like untied. I could make it a little bit longer. issue is is this like it shows this but not too much I could put a tank top underneath and I'd be okay but I really like this I really do like this is you know I like a few things like I think some things are just my favorites camel black butterflies skulls And unusual things. You know, that's just me. What do you think? Is it a yes? Is it a no? I don't know. Don't. All right. One more outfit. I'll be right back. Ha! Huh? All right. Here is the last jumpsuit. One. Let me just say how long it took me to get in this. Okay. My other jumpsuit much better. This is the problem that I have, all right? It is so tight right here. Like, I don't know if you can even see the pulling, and it's so tight everywhere. And that is just, 
Now, once I got it up here, it's loose. That's a no bueno, okay? And look at this. This is not good. And this. All right. My other issue, okay? Going to the bathroom, this is impossible. All right? My hips and my ass are way larger than my top. Okay? So to get in this was a struggle. Struggle. Like, I feel like this needs to be smaller than here to, to fit in this. And you need to be skinny because this is not, you know, a larger girl's friend. I contemplated on not showing you guys, but I need to show you. This is, this is what I do, okay? She did so well with the other pieces and this is terrible. This is like, you need to be four sizes smaller than I am to fit in this and make it look good and hope that your boobs are bigger than your thighs and your butts. Because it was difficult. All right, let me try to squeeze out of this one more time and get back in my regular clothes. Okay. All right, I'm back with my final thoughts. All right, these Ponte knit pants. These are great for a work option or even a date night, something comfortable, but aren't jeans and aren't a legging. So, you know, even though I wear a uniform to work, it's great to have something, just one or two items that are great for, for maybe an, an interview or just an office meeting that doesn't require work. This camo. I love this camo. I hate that it's a little short, but I can make it work. You know? This crisscross top the, the up here was very alluring and, and flattering, you know, gave you a little ooh, but without being, uh, you know, vulgar. And you kind of didn't pay attention to your waist. And this is kind of on the fence for me. This is the top that I received last time that I said I would love it in a smaller size. They did give it to me in a smaller size and I do love it even more. You know, it's just, it's simple, but it's just slightly askew to make it different. And I like being different. I love being different. All right, here is my issue. This jumpsuit. Okay. Going to the bathroom is impossible because squeezing in and out of this is just so difficult. Like I will end up ripping it while wearing it, okay? And there's not enough, like it's not large enough you know, my hips and my ass are way larger than my top. Okay, and jumpsuits, this jumpsuit doesn't take that in consideration that you could be of different sizes, top and bottom. 
you know. And it, the sleeve, the straps were just a little too loose. Maybe if you had, if you could actually fit in this and look good on you, a white tee underneath, that would look kind of cute. But for me, this is a hell no. Okay. Hell no. I could not eat in this. I could not go to the bathroom in this. It was just, mm -mm. no. Okay, so let me run down this price for you. The gray top was $44. Those pants are $48. That jumpsuit was $62. The cross front top was $40. And the camo top was $48, which brings my total to $242. If I kept all five items, $60.50 comes off. Plus there's a $20 credit that I have, which brings my total box to $161.50. You see what I mean by I like the price? Now you know I that jumpsuit is just terrible. But if I took that sent that back my total would be higher. And I know that's wasteful to keep something you know you're not gonna wear. But like as I said, I could give it someone who is smaller in size and hope that their hips and ass are again smaller in size I don't know I don't know because this is this is hard the other four pieces I I love and I would wear and I'd be fine wearing. But do I buy something to give it away? And to wear? Yeah. But really, keeping it and giving it away would be cheaper. Just saying. All right, guys, let me know what you think. My gut is telling me to keep all five and give it to maybe my niece. She's like a size eight though. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let me know what you think. Till the next one. Bye.